Jessica Young. I'm a senior and I'm from Walbrook, Maryland. I got involved in soccer by playing with the guys in elementary school at recess. I was a dancer and a gymnast at first, but then when I saw the guys playing soccer, I asked to play and they let me play and the rest is history. I came to UMBC after visiting Dr. Rabowski during my junior year of high school. I absolutely fell in love with the campus, with the community, and I felt at home here, so I decided to come here. When I was playing for the Maryland Olympic Development Program, the head coach of UMBC soccer was coaching my team, and I was interested in knowing more about UMBC. So she invited me here for a visit day, and I met the team, and I saw practice, I saw a game, I stayed overnight, and I fell in love with the team, and I felt like this was the place for me to play soccer. I would say the hardest part about balancing school and sports is time management. It is a skill that you have to learn quickly or you'll rapidly fall behind in your classes and you know you have to keep up a certain GPA to play soccer or any sport. Um, so you have to learn fairly quickly and there's really no one to teach you. So it's You learn through experience. I am a political science major and I hope to work in government or for a think tank focusing on foreign policy. I would say that my favorite part of playing UMBC soccer is just being with the girls. The girls are like sisters to me. They're more than just teammates. They're part of my family and I can go to them for anything. And I would also say that I like to score goals too. That's also another favorite part of mine, playing soccer. After my career at UBC is done, I plan on continuing playing, whether it's in the recreational league or in the new professional league that's coming out next spring. Whatever comes my way, I hope to continue to play soccer. I would say that my most memorable moment at UBC playing soccer came last year when we played Ryder. Uh, it wasn't the best game of my life. I don't know where my head was in that game. So my coach decided to take me out and I probably went through every single emotion possible during that game. Um, right before the end of the game, she was going to put me back in, but we ended up going into overtime. So she put me in during overtime and she's, she's like, just go and play. I'm so disappointed in how you've been playing this game. Just, just go and play. So I went in the game in overtime, 25 seconds in the overtime, I received the ball from a teammate, I took it down and just volleyed it. I was trying to pass the ball, but it ended up going in the goal, and I just stood there with my arms up in the air just in disbelief that after everything I've been through during this game, I ended up scoring a game-winning goal. It's difficult to maintain a social life outside of the team. We have a good social life together off the field, but it's, it's quite difficult to meet people outside of the team just because we're on different schedules and can't really hang out until 3 a.m. or do other things that non-athletes are able to do. Everyone in the America East Conference, everyone underestimates UNBC and they think they can just run over us, but we put up a fight, we treat every team as our biggest rival. All I can say is that I've enjoyed my four years playing soccer here. I wish that there was more school spirit and more support at our games and just come see us play sometime.